Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Makeup Monday! Hi, how are you guys? I feel, like, once again, it's been so long since I have sat down and filmed. With the holidays, I always feel so off. I feel like I'm here, but I'm not here. I miss you guys. How you been? What you been up to? How was your Christmas? Today's video is going to be oh i haven't been this excited for a video in such a long time i actually haven't been this excited for a launch in such a long time y'all know ColourPop stays throwing palettes left and right like i can't keep up with them all of their palettes are amazing but it's like a little too much for me to keep up but when i saw that becky g was um doing a collab with them again and i saw the packaging I was like, um, hello, can you please give me one of everything? So today we are going to be reviewing, and I know I might be a little bit late, but girl, it's here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hola Chola What Is Up Homies <laughs> um, collection from Becky G and ColourPop. Oh my god, you guys, I don't want to ramble on too much in the intro because I kind of go into like a little, a few story, not stories, but I just give you a little, um, reasonings or a reason of why this is so close to my heart but literally just anytime that I glance at this I am thrown back into like the 90s and early 2000s because this is just oh uh, if you are a Latina a Chicana whatever you know let's go ahead and jump right into this video you guys because I created this look with the Ola Chola palette and then I also did some uh, lip swatches on all the shades as well as played around with both of the bronzers that came in the collection how cute is the packaging all right you guys let's go ahead and jump right into this video shall we my foundation is on my eyebrows are on so we're gonna do the bronzer you guys I I can't even start. I don't even know where to begin. How excited I was to buy this collection. I don't even want to throw the packaging away. This literally brings me back to, what, the early 2000s. If I can find some pictures, I am going to post them. But me and my cousin, back when I used to live in New Mexico, we went to the mall and we took some pictures like this, like with the background and stuff. And oh my god this just brings me so many memories of like back in the day and when i saw the packaging of this collection i knew immediately that even if i never used it again i knew that i wanted to buy it because this just has so much like sentimental value for me especially growing up a mexicana latina um just growing up in that environment just oh it's so nostalgic so we're going to start off with the bronzers. They have two shades here, and I got both of the shades. P.S. I did buy this with my own money. I don't get any pure packages from ColourPop, but if I did, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> we have here the shade LA, and then we have here the shade 310. Both of these are really pretty. As you can see, LA is a little bit deeper in tone, a little bit more red, and 310 is a little lighter and is a little more of a light camel color so i think i'm gonna go in with la first and i'm going to take this color pop f20 brush and i'm gonna use this one to contour the cheeks oh the color is really pretty okay it's not as like it's not as cool tone and i like that i don't like cool tone Bronzers, not a big fan of them. I am going to take um, 310 and I'm actually just going to take this big F18 brush again by ColourPop and I'm going to bronze up the forehead. Oh, that's really nice. These are the shades that I personally like in my bronzer and you can even go like a little heavier hand because it is a little bit light. And it gives you just that warm color of skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing a bronzer. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a really pretty color. If you are a little morenita, a little brown biscuit like me, this shade is definitely going to work out for you. And even if um, you're a little bit like lighter, I think this is still going to work for you. 
this one might be too red on lighter complexion but on brown biscuits this is for you bronzer is done i love these bronzers i think these are going to be my new go-to and honestly i knew i knew these were going to be my go-to's because when i saw them in uh the becky g and color pop or the color pop youtube channel she did like swatches of everything when i saw the bronzers i was like oh i know that's gonna be for me so really quickly i'm just going to take a little bit of blush this is just from smashbox and honestly this blush i should i should probably throw it away this is so old i think i've had this for like three years all right let's move on to the next item so we obviously have here the lip bundles the lip bundles we will do like a little swatch or a little lip um application at the end of the video i am mainly excited for the rollerball oh my god it's been so many years since i've used a roller ball lip gloss i knew that if i didn't get anything this was at least one of those products that i wanted to get a again very 90s very early 2000s i remember when i was little and my mom used to take me to the store we didn't have um, a lot of money growing up and there was this store that was really close to our house um and she would sell little lip glosses like these and anytime we would go to the store i would beg my mom to buy me one and she eventually did i think she bought me like one or two like a pink one and a clear one and i thought i was like a bad bitch like i thought i was a shit <laughs> oh my god this just literally brings so much joy to my life it's crazy how something so simple as makeup can bring so much happiness so many memories and just such a good time because this is like uh anyways okay so let's move on to probably one of the things that i'm mainly or mostly excited about besides the rollerball and that is the hola chola um eyeshadow palette this one is an all matte palette I did do some swatches um, on my arm and then I didn't like how I swatched them so I just took them off so that's why you can see the palettes being touched a little bit this palette is amazing first of all all the names shy girl Lil smiley cholita chicana Lil b chula loca chingona ruca ruca is one of my favorite words me and my friends back in the day we used to call each other we thought we were cholas okay guys back this was back when I was like sixth or seventh grade we used to be like what's up ruka <laughs> we even had oh my god we even had okay so it was like a group of us girls that lived really close by we used to live in trailer parks and we had like a close knit of friends and we had this little like gang this little click this little clica that's what we used to call each other and we were las diablitas locas oh my god Oh, this literally brings me back to that and they called me la tiny because i've always been like short and like small frame not anymore i'm short but i'm not small frame anymore and um i don't remember what my other friends were called but everybody had a nickname and oh yeah it just yeah it just brings me memories if you guys are wondering what I'm using for my base, just a concealer. This is by J Cat Beauty. So uh, let's start off with the eyeshadow. I think I just want to do something like really matte all over. I think I'm going to go in with one of the deepest shades in the palette. Besides Sad Girl, I'm going to go in with Roca. If you guys don't speak Spanish and you're like, what the hell is that? Roca just means like a girl or a female. A lot of guys also call their girlfriends Rucas. Like, hey, that's my Ruka or hey, Ruka. Just another way of it's a slang of saying woman or girl once that is semi blended out i am going to take the shade chula and chula in spanish means like beautiful pretty um it's just more of a compliment like hi estas bien chula like oh you're so pretty so cute fun facts I'm going to try and use as many colors as I possibly can so we can get a real good feel about this palette. But honestly, like I expect nothing less. I've actually never bought any of um, Becky G's collaborations and I don't know why. Like I listen to her music constantly. I remember I used to follow her a lot more when she first started her career 
And you know why? It was because, not that I don't relate to her anymore. I just kind of like lost track of her and then like I didn't follow her music. But I related so much to her because A, she was a Latina, you know, Mexicana. And she had a gap like mine. And I was like, oh my God, I had never seen anybody like on TV at that time that had a gap like me. And I remember just being able to relate to her so much because of that. And I think... She still has her gap, but she just kind of like fixed her teeth a little bit, but she's still gorgeous and I I love her music. Now that I have that, I'm going to go back or I'm going to go into the shade. Um, ooh, I kind of want to take a little bit of Loca, which is almost like a burnt orange to help me blend those shades and give it a little bit of warmth. Even though these colors are warm, they're more leaning towards a cool tone. And if you guys don't know what loca means, it just means crazy. I'm going to go with my Morphe one. These are the ones that I always just go back to because they do a really good job at blending. And I'm just going to soften the edges. I'm actually going to take a little bit of Lil B. I'm also kind of like dragging this out a little bit. I like that. Okay, I'm quickly going to tap into the white shade, which you guys know where that's going to go. This is called Shy Girl. And I'm going to apply that underneath the brow bone. Now that I remember, one of our friends, her name is um, Vicky. And she was like the shyest out of the group. And so we called her um shy girl <laughs> that is so funny everybody has the same names apparently okay i really want to try this color out so i'm going to take a little bit of chingona and chingona means badass pretty much you are a boss ass you are just the it girl i'm going to take that and blend it with all the colors I'm just going to add every single color in this palette if I can because why not? And this is just going to give us a little, little extra oomph. Now that I have that, I'm going to go back with my concealer and I'm just going to quickly cut the crease. And then we're going to see what other shades we can add. Now that I have my crease nice and cut, I'm going to take, again, Shy Girl, which is that white shade. And I'm not going to take that all the way in. By the way, this white is intense um, because I'm going to go in with the shade Gata. But I'm just going to take this about a third. I'm just going to clean this brush off because it's really nice to pack on color. This is by Wet n Wild. And then, like I said, I'm going to take the shade Gata. Gata pretty just me. It translates to cat. Una gata is a cat. But you can also call somebody a gata. I don't, actually I don't know like the exact meaning or the slang be, like behind gata. It could have different meanings. So I'm not sure what her meaning means. But we're just going to take this really pretty blue gray shade and apply it right here. I am going to add a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I also got the eyeliner that came with the kit. This is the ColourPop, obviously, BFF liquid eyeliner. Um, this one is just called the BFF Black Eyeliner. I did use this once because I actually don't have an eyeliner right now, and it's okay. It's definitely not my favorite thing from the collection, but it's still a pretty decent eyeliner. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm not going to wing it out because I do want to add some lashes, but I feel like the wing is going to take like the smokiness away, so I'm just going to add um, a thickish line. You may have not noticed, but I've been gone for about two hours maybe now. Um, I was so hungry when I was filming this. Brian was home, so we ended up going for dinner, and I am back now. I am stuffed, but I am cold, so I have my little 
go be heat on me so don't mind that let's do some lip swatches first i'm going to do the roller gloss this is super cute i'm not gonna lie you don't get a lot of products like i feel like this is one of those things that you kind of just have to like keep applying on your lips if you want them to be super shiny i mean they're shiny but they're not like wet looking then here we have three lip bundles so we have traviesa let's move on to the next shade which is muñeca this one i believe this is a nude one yeah obviously this is the one that i'm most excited for this is definitely more of a cool tone shade and you get both the lip liner and the liquid lipstick which i think excuse me is a really good deal i don't remember i think for everything i paid about 90 bucks which is yes it's a lot of money but i'm for sure gonna get good use out of the bronzers liquid lipsticks um the palette pretty much everything <laughs> and that is muñeca this is a really pretty everyday on the go color this is not like my typical nude i'm more of a brown girl nude but this i can totally see myself wearing a lot we have one last lip bundle and this is in the shade payasa payasa um it translates to clown um but you can also use it like i don't know it's more of a spanglish thing but sometimes i'll tell my sisters and my friends i'll be like Ay, no seas payasa or no seas payasa you know things like that it just means like don't be silly don't be stupid like things like that but payasa translates to clown or you can like a clown girl something like that oh this is definitely a little more red in tone like i said it's very like cherry color really pretty none of the deep ones go with the look that i have so i am going to switch back to muñeca but this is payasa and this is absolutely gorgeous i think it's so pretty red bomb yes all right you guys what are my final thoughts on this becky g x color pop hola chola collection i i may be biased I'm probably biased, but I'm absolutely in love with everything. I love everything in this collection. Like, I don't want to throw this away. I don't want to throw it away. It's so beautiful, and it's, it just really brings me so many memories of, like, being back home in New Mexico and just, like, being young and having fun and, you know, like, being a Mexicana, being, uh, having that type of rasa around you like uh i don't know i love being mexican <laughs> so with that said i 100 percent approve like for me this is not even about the makeup it's just like i said the story and the meaning behind it because i can relate to it 100 percent but the makeup is really good i love how this eye look came out it came out exactly how i envisioned it in my head all the lipsticks are really, really pretty, and the lip gloss, I'm for sure gonna, I'm gonna have to hide this for my daughter, because I know she's gonna want to keep it. I should have bought two, because she's gonna want this, so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I am gonna head out, go upstairs, and make some ugly sweater gingerbread cookies with my family, and yeah, actually, I'm not gonna see you guys until probably Wednesday or Friday, so happy new year's, you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's with your friends and family. Be safe. Have fun. Best wishes for 2020. And I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.